The content you are about to watch is not intended for children. Viewer discretion advised. <sighs> well, hello there. Welcome to the official start of B Week here on the Regretful Reads channel. I hope you're strapped in and ready for a wild ride because this is going to be bad. It's B Week! Today, we're reading a story entitled Be Mine by Captain Sideboob, which I feel like I may have already read a story by Captain Sideboob. I'll have to go back and double check. The summary here says, You get shrunk. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, the tags here include bestiality, you fuck the bee, and crack. Great start to Bee Week, am I right, folks? And the crowd goes wild. No? Only bees? Gotcha. Let's get started. You sighed as you stared at the tall flowers. You had been shrunk down to the size of an insect. You didn't know where to go or how you were going to get back to your original size. You stomped your foot and started walking. You had seen a tree not far from where you had been shrunk and decided you'd take shelter from the now giant human feet that could easily squish you. After what felt like hours, you arrived at the tree. There was a flower sitting underneath it, and so you decided you'd stay in there. Hopefully, no one would pick it. You struggled your way up to the stem and plopped into the bed of pollen. It was so comfortable, in fact, that you fell asleep. You awoke to a buzzing sound. Looking up, you notice a bee. It was staring down at you. Hi! <laughs> it waved at you, smiling. You rubbed your eyes. Hello? The bee laughed and fluttered down to sit next to you. What kind of insect are you? <laughs> you huffed and crossed your arms. I'm not an insect! You shouted. I'm a human! The bee laughed again. Humans are not that small! You pushed him over. I got shrunk! You screamed before breaking down into sobs. You didn't ask to be this small. The bee stared at you before hugging you. I'm sorry. I didn't know what happened. But I'm here for you. He whispered and caressed your back. You leaned on him. I, I don't know what to do or where to go. You cried more, the feelings overwhelming you. The bee hugged you even tighter. Stay with me, in the hive. You pulled back to look at him. But I'm not a bee. You whispered, looking down. I'll make you a bee. He grinned. Oh, what's your name, BTW? I'm Barry. Regretful reads, you reply, wiping your eyes with your sleeve. Ah, beautiful. One sec, regretful reads. I need to grab some things. Barry then flew off, leaving you all alone. You sat down again, wondering where he had gone off to. Your stomach begins to rumble, and it was then you realized you hadn't eaten since yesterday. Just as you were about to leave the flower to look for food, Barry came back with a bunch of items in his arms. Time to make you a bee! He fist pumped. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> When he was done, he showed you a mirror, and you looked just like a bee. You hugged him so hard he fell over. He was blushing. Thank you, you whispered, nuzzling him. <laughs> Barry chuckled. Yeah, yeah, let's get you back to the hive. He grabbed your hand and flew you up to his hive, where there were tons and tons of other bees. Your eyes widened in wonder as they all flew past you and Barry. He kept a hold of your hand and flew you to his home, where he lived with his parents. Before they could ask about you, he pushed you into his room and locked the door. Sorry about them. I'll introduce you to you when we get a story going. You nod your head. You didn't want them to know the truth. You had been living with Barry and his family for a while. You'd even started to think B. You didn't mind this life. It was nice. The bees were nice. Barry 
He was really nice. You had felt yourself falling for him. It was wrong, he was a bee, but... But he was just so nice and sweet. You couldn't stop yourself. You had begun to distance yourself from him. You didn't want to make anything... awkward. One day, though, he trapped you in his room and had blocked the door. Regretful Reeves, why are you avoiding me? He yelled at you, frustration and hurt visible on his face. You looked down at the floor. I'm not, you whispered. You couldn't tell him. You are! After all I've done for you and everything we've been through, why now? Why avoid me? His voice... <laughs> <laughs> his, his voice getting louder with each word. You began to cry. You couldn't stand him yelling at you. I fell in love with you, you cried. That's why I didn't want you to hate me. Your tears ran down your face as you wrapped your arms around yourself. Barry flew at you, embracing you in a hug. Tell me that sooner, dummy, he whispered, pressing his lips against yours. You melted into his embrace, easily giving in to him. You wanted this for a while. He moved so you were pushed against the bed and continued to kiss you. You moaned into his mouth and you rubbed your vagina against his leg. I guess I have a vagina now. You wanted him so badly. He began to kiss down your body, removing the clothes that were hiding your human form. Sometimes you forgot you were actually human. Barry, you moaned as he licked you all over. He looked up at you. Can I eat you? I bet you taste ten times better than honey. <laughs> he, 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 <laughs> oh. he began to lick your most private parts. You trembled. He went so gentle, and it felt so good. You tugged lightly on his antenna, wriggling your hips as his tongue entered you more and more. Barry, please, I want you, you moaned out. It hit you. Did bees even have dicks? <laughs> you had no idea, but you were about to find out. Barry smiled at you. I'm gonna enter, okay? He mumbled, pushing you in pushing into you so gently. <sighs> he moved slowly, his breath coming out in soft pants. You were feeling so good. Daddy, you... <laughs> Damn it! Daddy, you moaned out before realizing your mistake. Something in Barry snapped, and he began to violently thrust into you. His bee dick was incredible. Daddy, yes, yes, yes! You screamed. You were so close that you couldn't hold it in anymore. You came all over his dick, and he came inside of you with a shout of your name. Pulling out, he collapsed next to you. It'd be great if you could have my babies, he whispered, resting his arm on your stomach. You nodded in agreement. You never wanted this life to change. The End! I did not know that I had a vagina, but in this universe I do, so that's nice. Thanks, Barry, for kicking off Bee Week with a real winner. We're going to have a bee story a couple of times this week. It's Bee Week! If you'd like to support the channel, get on patreon.com slash regretfulreads or become a YouTube member. Or don't. See you next time. Join the Discord and have fun.